Hello guys, what is up everyone? It's Jaji here. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And on today's video, I will be showing you guys how to recreate my birthday look. I'm gonna insert some pictures here. So I got a lot of people asking me about this look and a lot of comments and compliments on it when I went out. And um, I figured this look was so easy. I might as well show you guys how I did it. That's why I'm standing here looking raggedy as hell because um, for this video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna try to just zoom into my one eye um, so you guys can really, really be able to see what I'm doing. And like I said, since it's so easy, I just wanna get down to the nitty gritty, show you guys and that's it. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I achieved this look, then of course, keep on watching. All right, so I am prepped and primed and taped. Of course, we're gonna need some tape for this look. As you guys saw when I inserted the picture, it is very like, you know, nice winged out. So. I suggest to put tape um you don't have to if you could get that clean cut yourself but i suggest tape so the first brush we're going to go in with is um this more 210 brush which is like just this little packer blending brush and we're going to go in with my um jawbreaker palette from we're going to be using are delicious and soaked and these are the blues so we're going to go in with these two types of blues right now start with delicious which is that dark blue color so just gonna start with that and follow the tape follow the tape See, so, so we're just gonna go in with both colors and just get that in there and just blend with both of those colors until we get that wing as thick as we want it so you might not come have to come up this high with your wing because as you can see when i open my eyes that's like my lid so that's what i'm trying to get i'm kind of gonna try to cover like this here so that way when I open my eyes, you're still able to see that dark blue and it won't just get lost in the blend that I'm going to do over top. So, but if you don't have hooded eyes, you could actually have it this thin and then go in with the blend how I'm going to go in next. But since my eye is very hooded, we're going to bring it a little bit more up so that you could really see that wing effect. Once I blend everything out and my eyes open. And as you're packing this on, make sure to blend out as well. Because you don't want to just pack on color and then in the end, you're like going in, breaking your wrist, trying to blend. Nah. Just do it as you go. So as you can see, I already put on the color, but now I'm just, you know, getting that perfect blend what we have so we're just going to keep going in with those same colors that soaked and that delicious which was like the royal blue and the navy blue we're just going to keep going in until we get as thick as we all right guys sorry i thought i was recording apparently i wasn't but um i started to blend out that um wing that i did here so i you see where i stopped like i said my eyes are hooded so you might be able to do this wing a little thinner but i stopped right here just so that way when I open my eyes, you can still get that wing effect. And what I'm doing now is I'm dipping into the um, Morphe and James Charles palette with the color Playground, which is this blue here. And I'm just blending out that harsh wing line. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe 139 brush, which is a really pointed um, crease blender brush. So that's what I'm going in with. And um, right now I'm just blending out the color we already have. I already dipped in twice. And I'm just going in with what we already have. If you feel like that dark blue got lost in there or you realize that you want your wing thicker, now that you added the lighter blue, you just go right in. Go right in. So I realized I just wanted it a little thicker. I'm 
I'm gonna go in with Soaked, which is that royal blue. And get in there. I hope you guys like this closer angle of me doing my eyes. Um, I just figured I have hooded eyes and I could barely find any tutorials teaching me how to do these cool cut creases or like these type of looks with hooded eyes. So I figured why not be the one to upload those videos since we can't find them. I'll be the one to upload them. So I just want to get more in depth with the tutorials for you guys um, so that my hooded eye fam can pick up on some tips and tricks that I got to show you guys. So yeah, right now I'm just going in with that same brush and just blending it out. All right. And now because I added a little bit more to there, we want to blend that out. So I'm going to go back in with Playground from that Morphe and James Charles palette and just try to get that. I mean, we don't want the wing to go away, but we do want it to have a nice smooth transition so that we don't have all these harsh lines. And you see, we're getting that smooth transition. Don't be afraid to go over it. You could always add and darken it up, but don't be afraid to go over to blend. You'll, you'll still have that effect, if you can see. No, we still have that effect. So don't be afraid to just blend. Better blended than to have harsh lines. All right, so I'm just going to keep going in, keep blending with Playground. We got the eye um, how we wanted. This is, you know, the look we're going for. We'll clean all this up as well, but we got the shape we wanted. So here, to make it less harsh, and now we're going to go in with a little fluffy blending brush, which is um, a 514 Morphe little fluffy, fluffy blending, blending brush. Fuck, I can't talk. It's like a tongue twister. So um, I'm going to go into... Ooh. But we're going in with the baby blue, which is Brain Freeze, which is this color blue here. So remember, we used that dark blue, dark blue and royal blue. And then this color that I used to blend was Playground, which is this right here. And then I'm going to go in with Brain Freeze right here and kind of just blend it all out. So we're doing that now. And I'm just going to blend it all out. And with this one, you don't have to like keep dipping in. Like one initial dip is good. And then just keep, oh, sorry, I shook the camera. And just keep blending from there. I know this is a little bit more on like the wild side. So I'm sorry for my more natural everyday makeup people. But um, yeah, this is like a cool little glam fun look. All right, so that blended out nicely, but I'm just going to dip into it one more time just to get all that really blended out. All right, and you see we went from like harsh lines to now it's all nice and blown out. So this is what we have so far. Nice and blown out. Just want to get it a little bit more. I hate harsh lines. So just go in until all the harsh lines fade away. Once you feel like all those harsh lines are gone, then this step is complete. And now it's the fun part. We're going to be adding the glitter. Yay! Okay, and this right. is Stila and it's in Diamond Dust. And um, I've had this for a while. It's probably freaking expired. So I'm embarrassed to even show it. But here she is. This is what we used. So um, because it's not like loose lip glitter, it's more like a wet type of glitter. Jesus. Um, we just add it to the center like so. And bring it up a bit. All right. So... We got that and now we're just gonna go in with like any little flat synthetic brush and just kind of like blend this out a little bit make it less like precise make it look like it's just a little burst of glitter in the middle 
Uh, oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Came out the frame a little. So yeah, we just do a little bit of that. Move that glitter around before it dries. Voila. And again, we don't want super concentrated glitter. So we're gonna kind of blend that out. All right. And then I set that with this loose pigment from Wet n Wild um, in the shade Mary. That was part of their Christmas collection last year. Okay. I'm just gonna go with my finger and I'm just going to add more of that dark blue delicious color and kind of line this again to bring that darkness back. I'm actually going with a teeny tiny bit of black, which Take off that harshness a little bit from the black. Right there. Boom. And voila, this is what we got. See, it was really, really easy. Something that looks so like extra and complicated is super easy. So I'm gonna go and um, put some lashes and do my bottom um, lash line off of camera and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. All right, and I'm back with the final results. This is what we got. Yes, love it. So you guys saw how easy that was. Um, I just popped on some lashes and added a little bit of rhinestones to it. I forgot I did have rhinestones. So um, yeah, just any shape, size, color, whatever. Just one in the front, one in the middle and one here to keep that cat eye look going. And yeah, this was super simple, super easy. I hope you guys picked up on it. This is the look we got. This is giving me Ice Queen vibes, Ice Queen realness. It's perfect for the winter to go out in. You know, if you don't want to do a black smoky eye, this is it. Go for this. You want to have a little fun, throw on the rhinestones and boom, here you go. Right, so as if this video wasn't already bad enough with my terrible angles, um, as I'm editing the video and uploading my last clip, I realized that I did not catch my outro. Something was up with the camera. It kept stopping. Yeah, I didn't catch it. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you have lasted this long in my video with these terrible angles, I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the hang of doing close-ups so that I can get more in-depth with the look. But um, besides that, I just want to say thanks and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe um, I appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next one bye bye